The spring rains are certainly doing gardens a favor and plants are growing and blooming. Well, why not bring the blooms indoors? Here with the dirt on growing a cut flower from start to finish is U of I Extension of Macon County Extension Educator, Sarah Vogel. Hi, Sarah, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Hi, thank you for having me. I appreciate your time. Well, um, so I've got a few tips on growing cut flowers and maintaining them. Yes, and um, we want to hear them. Give us the whole lowdown from start to finish. I will do just that. Uh, so firstly, um, you need to choose your site in which you want to grow your flowers. Um, most flowers like sunny environments, so try and choose a place in your yard that receives a good amount of sun. Um, then you want to choose your flowers. Are you going to grow from seed uh, or, or are you going to grow plants that have already been uh, started from your local garden center. There's uh, pros and cons to both. Uh, seeds are, of course, cheaper, and there are more varieties available. Um, or you can buy transplants already grown. Uh, they are more expensive, but they save time and space. Um, so you want to plant in, as mentioned, a sunny spot uh, where there is an easily accessible water source. And you want to plant them somewhere uh, that they're convenient, that you see them often, because flowers can mature very quickly. Ed, can um, you give us some types examples? Of annuals oh. that you can plant? Yes, give us some examples of some of those flowers that, that are appropriate for cut flower, like vase arrangements, because I know we've got anywhere from sure. annuals, bulbs to perennials. Sure, so some of the annuals that you could choose uh, would include things like zinnias, uh, celosia, um, Cosmos and Black Eyed Susans, which are a favorite. Um, sunflowers are also another good uh, cut flower. Some of the perennials might include um, hellebores, uh, some bleeding heart make lovely cut flowers. Of course, liatris, uh, cone flowers, peonies are wonderful. Um, and uh, again, you can get a perennial Black Eyed Susan. Those always look nice in any arrangement. And let's talk a little bit about cutting the flowers because I see in my notes here that it's best to cut the flowers in the late afternoon or evening. Why does that matter? Well, so some flowers actually close up at night, such as daylilies, given their name, you would maybe assume that. Um, but that's one part of it. Then you also want to cut the stems longer than what you might need and place them in cool water for an hour or two to let them take up some water. Okay, well, lots of great um, flower options out there to um, start in your garden and then cut and bring indoors to bring a little bit of that outdoors inside. Something else I wanted to uh, mention is you should stagger your, your blooms and your plants so that you have flowers all throughout the summer and into the fall. That's right. It's good to stagger what you have. All right. Well, we appreciate you sharing this information with us. I know a lot of people love gardening, and it's actually healthy and a health benefit for you to, to maybe um, stave off that COVID-19. And we'll have all of your tips and tricks and information at saleofing.tv. Thank you for being with us.